The geometric distribution can be used for an experiment that has only two outcomes and is repeated until a successful outcome occurs. For instance, spinning a roulette wheel until a seven is obtained or rolling a die until a five occurs. In these situations, a success would occur on the nth trial and the geometric distribution tells us the probability of when the success is likely to happen. The geometric distribution satisfies the following conditions. Number one is that each trial has only two outcomes, a success or a failure. Number two is that each outcome is independent of one another. Number three is the probability of success is the same for each trial. And number four is that the experiment will continue until a success occurs. The formula for the geometric distribution is probability of n equals p times the quantity 1 minus p raised to the n minus 1. All right, let's break this formula down. Probability of n means the probability that the first success will occur on the nth trial. For instance, the probability of getting the first five will occur on the third roll of a die. So probability of n would be probability of three for the third die roll. Small p in the equation represents the given probability. In our die roll, the probability of a five is one over six, as there are six possible numbers or outcomes. And n in the formula is the number of trials the first success occurs on. This will be the same number as our probability number. So again, the probability that the first five will occur on the third roll of a die. So roll one is a failure, roll two is a failure, and roll three is a success. So n equals three, because this is the number of trials we're looking for the first success on. One note, this formula is sometimes written as probability of x equals small p times q raised to the x minus 1. And in this formula, x represents the number of trials the first success is on, and the q is equal to 1 minus p, which we have used in other distributions. But these formulas are the same. Let's look at a couple of examples. First, we'll stick with the die roll. So what is the probability of getting the first six on the fourth roll of a die? Using our formula, we need to find small p and n. Small p is the probability of getting a six, which is one over six, as there are six possible outcomes on a die roll. And n is equal to four, because we're looking for the first success, getting a six, on the fourth roll of the die. So we have probability of four equals one over six times one minus one over six raised to the four minus one. Calculating out, as I've done on the screen, we get 125 over 1,296 which equals 0.096, or 9.6%. As another example, let's say that your favorite basketball player has a 70% free throw percentage. What is the probability that the first free throw he makes occurs on the third or fourth attempt in tonight's game? So in reading this question, we see third or fourth attempt, which means we're gonna have to calculate two probabilities for the third attempt, or third trial, and for the fourth attempt, or fourth trial. And since this question says third or fourth, we will then add them together. Using our formula, we need to find small p and n first for the third attempt. We know that small p is the probability of success, that he makes a free throw, and that is given, 70%. And n is equal to three, because we're looking for the first success on the third free throw attempt. Now we can plug and calculate. Probability of three equals 0.70 times one minus 0.70 raised to the three minus one. Do the math and we get 0.063 or 6.3%. Now for the fourth attempt. We have probability of four equals 0.70 times one minus 0.70 raised to the four minus one. Calculate out and we get 0.019 or 1.9%. Next, we add these together, 0.019 plus 0.063, which equals 0.082, or 8.2%. So there's an 8.2% probability that the player makes his first free throw on his third or fourth attempt in tonight's game. All right, my friends, that be the basics on the geometric distribution. Hopefully this video helped you out. I do have more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.